TikToker claims that he's ruined his life chasing TikTok fame and is now completely broke. And it's definitely quite the oddball story. So meet Beavis Brandy, also known as Bevo on the internet. And Bevo became famous from eating food in one bite, to the point where it was obvious he was barely avoiding choking. Let's get right into that, that, that. bang. Yes, this guy got famous for filming himself almost choke on food daily. That's the whole bit. That's it. So he went viral on TikTok for essentially being a bit of a circus show. And he really played into that as his content is just so laughably stupid. It perfectly fits into the type of slop content that your friends send to each other in DMs to just give them a what did I just watch reaction. Apparently I don't chew enough, but I don't need to chew. Watch chicken as well. Yeah, chicken. No chew needed. You don't need to chew your food. Yes, disclaimer, you need to chew your food. As a father of a toddler, one of my most used words is chew, chew, chew. But Bevo moved around the UK scene essentially being the butt of the joke. And this was in the same sphere as the HS Tiki Talky guy who actually crashed his McLaren and fled the scene with his friend in the passenger seat who ended up getting out of the passenger seat. And then you had that viral clip of him laying on the ground in pain. Meanwhile, his friend, HS Tiki Talky, nowhere to be found. Suddenly, he appeared in Dubai. Okay, bro. That's also just an insane story that we covered a couple months ago, but him and Bevo, they had a falling out. And I found this back and forth between them that started off when Bevo went on to Cody Ko and Noel Miller's podcast and had this to say. Um. <laughs> um what's okay, it? Wait, 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 wait. Right, what's not the, he's not a TikToker. Yeah, what's the beef with him? Nah, he's just, he's just not me. He's just, he's like the other, very, he's very money, money, money. He's very, takes advantage of people. And mm. listen, he does, I respect that you do what you do in it. Like you're a millionaire because of it, but I won't become a millionaire taking knowing that I'm taking advantage of other people. And well, there was there beef or something? No, it was beef. Um, I was split up with my ex, and he put her on Only Friends, and we had a bit of back and forth. But mm. I don't want to give her air time, but he done me a favour. So yeah, it's good. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you, HS. Oh, aren't you the person who made a GoFundMe claiming to be homeless to scam your fans out of money? Uh, recently become homeless. Um, You're just pissed because you ain't making money. You ain't living in Dubai. You ain't a millionaire. And talking about me taking advantage of people, everyone who's around you takes advantage of you, you mug. The OF girl you're with right now is only with you for subs. You're just an idiot, mate. Your fall off is going to be legendary. It's already happening now. I'll be here in three years. You'll be back on the job centre. Yeah. I've had to take you to somewhere very special because <laughs> the views are dropping and everyone's saying I've filled it off. So, um... Yeah, I'll about to take you into the job center. Um, here we go. I mean, when it comes to internet feuds, that's pretty mild. I understand why HS Tiki Talkie putting the dude's ex on OF would upset Bevo. But then again, if he's dating an OF girl, that's not like the most shocking thing in the world. And that leads us to the next blow to his career because there's a massive podcast by name of Whatever. The TLDR of the Whatever podcast is there's a couple of conservative hosts and they normally bring on OF girls and Instagram models and I guess question their decisions. And this normally leads into a bunch of gotcha moments that leads to viral snippets. So why is this relevant to the story? Well, Bevo is or was dating an OF lady. And at the time, I guess they thought it was a good idea to go onto this podcast and just completely humiliate the guy. You guys are in a relationship yourselves, like a romantic relationship yes, but between each other. Yeah, openly we sleep with other people as well, but romantically we're together, yes. Okay, so um, you consider her your girlfriend, but you don't consider other girls your girlfriend. You just consider other girls girls that you sleep with. Yes. Sex talk. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So, you are a cuck. Uh, define a cuck, please. A cuck is a person who purposely allows their women to get by other men. Uh, for money, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, wait. You wouldn't let her sleep with other men. If they weren't paying her? No, they're not paying her. Let's get that right. We make content. We get paid for content. So, yes, we involve other people because it makes more money. And again, that's why I allow it. Again, romantically, yes, when we're 30 years old with a child and we slow down with all the money we've got in the bank, we can live happily ever after. So Okay, so right out the gate, Viva's like, hey, hello. I let other guys do my girl for money. Bro, 
what? But it's safe to say the others on the show were not uh, matching his freak. And they kept grilling him on this so much so that he kept going back to, oh, we make so much money doing this. It doesn't matter. Money, that'll solve a lot of your problems in life, but it won't give you purpose. And without purpose, you're not really going to be happy. And I doubt his purpose is to let other dudes do his girl for money. I'll leave it at that. We're young. Um, we're probably in a better position than you was when you was 23. Again, no throwing shade, but I just don't feel like being a slave to a religion is going to get you anywhere in life. It's good praying, it's good doing your thing, but I just want to live life out of money. And yeah, happy. I mean, it's way better to let people fuck your old lady. All self-respecting yeah. men do that. Yeah, but sex is just sex. Again, I think it's like you, you take money is just money. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but money gets you places. Money gets you places. Sex, sex don't. Where does money get you? Money, money pop. does it get you to a place where other men? Your old lady, yeah, is that where it gets you? Yeah, yeah, it takes me on flights, it takes me to buy a house, it takes me to buy a house, it takes me to buy a car, it takes me to buy the jewelry I've got on, it takes me to buy the clothes I've got on. Brother, you are lost, but he just keeps digging himself a hole. And this is very important context for what happens later on in this video. Do you have a job? Yeah, yeah, yes, you're a slave to money, like me. Uh, that's a slave, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're a slave. A job? Yeah, yeah, of course, it is, yeah. I'll have a job. Yeah, Shaggin. so wait, so wait. I just want I just want you to, I, just so that we're clear, look directly in that camera <laughs> and tell 100 million <laughs> men that they're it's slaves good. because they don't I'm let other men put a check for money and instead they have jobs. Go yes, ahead. Yes, if you want a good lifestyle yes. Yes. and you don't let other people you're missing, you're missing out and you're a slave. You're missing out. Every once in a while, I cover someone on the internet who's just so odd that I question how are they real. But this dude is definitely in the wrong room. If he wanted to be accepted on a podcast, he probably should have gone on to the No Jumper show, at least for that behavior. But overall, he just comes across as a douche here. Cook, 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 cook. All that hair is. Money, 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 actually played up for the show, but he got a lot of backlash from his audience because of this podcast. Because, hey, he's been seen in a completely different light here. He came up being that awkward guy who didn't know how to chew food and almost passed away every time he did a food review. Now the guy's suddenly like, I do anything for money. I'm richer and more successful than you. What was the point of going on this podcast? But apparently he got so much backlash, he was forced to make a response video. What's happening, TikTok Bevo here? What is this outfit? If he's gonna apologize for coming across as being money obsessed, but he's wearing that, I'll just say, I don't know. Let's see the clip. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here, on here and uh, basically clear up this whole whatever podcast. Um, I didn't expect to get this much stick. Um, I was basically told what to say, um, basically for their financial gain, which has made me look a complete mug on the internet now. Okay, interesting allegation. I guess that's believable, but if that's true, why did he go along with it? Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a deep dive. So we get to whatever podcast, I wasn't supposed to be on there. The girls sit down, I finally come in. Brian comes up to me and says, I look, we need to spice some things up. Um, basically say that you two are in an open relationship and basically she sees other guys and she see other girls. And me being me thinking, oh yeah, cool, it's clips. Like, yeah, why not? Um, let's run with it. Um, so yeah, I've done that. I'm trying to keep this short because I, I can spend 10 minutes talking about this. So we've run with that, sat down. I've basically written Sophia's leg um, open because they come around last age. Yeah, your status of relationship, what you do, blah, blah, blah. Um, so for it open, she's wrong with open. Bear in mind, she don't know this whole plan of this whole open relationship. She sleeps with other men, I sleep with other girls, but which I do want to clarify. Me and Sophia are in a close, healthy, happy relationship. No one else is involved. Um, I just want to get that clear because, again, I've got a lot of stick online with the clips. Um, so he's apologizing because he received backlash, but he didn't see the backlash coming. And this probably means that he wouldn't have apologized if he didn't receive backlash for this, or if he didn't actually have consequences for his actions. And with DMs and she's getting hate, which I didn't want. I was just trying to do it to promote us and like herself, you know? So yeah, we've done that, we've rolled with that. And I'm not gonna lie, it just got out of hand. Um, I feel violated, I'm not going to lie, because it feels like, for me, I look like a, a devalued man. Um, again, my my grandparents come from a Christian household. My dad's moaned at me for this whole podcast. 
um, of family members I've seen his podcast. And yeah, again, I've watched it back and it doesn't look good. But you weren't worried about saying all of this when you know it's going to be watched by hundreds of thousands of people. When you talk about being in an open relationship for money and then the internet calls you a devalued man, it's not like you couldn't see that one coming from a mile away. Um, which is annoying. But again, what can you do? I got told what to say and me being me, being the nice Bevo I am, I've just run with it and made myself look like a complete mug. Um, again, I don't advise going on a whatever podcast because they do set you up We've promised to get our um, Instagrams promoted and um, paid. We're supposed to get paid $150, which we didn't, which I don't care about the money, but it's the fact that we went on there for promotion. We give you content for promotion, which we did. We ran with their content. Um, I feel like we've been used for financial gain because the amount of TTSs um, they got and the fact that I was still watching, even though I walked out and said it was a whole troll. Um, so basically people could donate more. I feel like we've just been used for money. Does he not understand how podcasts work? You go onto the podcast, you have a good time, you be yourself. This allows new people to discover you. In return, they make money from the podcast. They get to distribute it basically however they want to. So I mean, it's up to you to not be a degenerate on someone else's podcast. Also, read the room. Why would you go along with degrading yourself and acting like a moron is beyond me, but that could also just be code for some sort of excuse for his behavior because I'm not really convinced he's telling the truth here. I understand that our podcast is there to make money, but to manipulate someone and try and devalue yourself as a man for their financial gain, I just think it's disgusting. You did that to yourself. If they actually came up and said this to you, guess what you can say? No, no, I'm good. No, thank you. All three of those work. Why you put yourself in this predicament, again, is beyond me. It's not like you were a hostage of the whatever podcast. You could also say whatever you wanted to on the podcast. So I'm kind of surprised you didn't bring up, hey, by the way, the show host told me to say this, you know, because you did get pretty frustrated. That, that, that should, have came out if it was true. I don't know though. His story just seems odd. Um, Sophia's been receiving a lot of horrible messages after we've been receiving a lot of horrible messages. And realistically, it's not what I want. I am, I am a humble guy. Um, Dude, your outfit says otherwise. You're literally wearing a diamond chain with your name on it. I don't know if that diamond chain will pass a diamond tester though, but still there's uh, nothing humble about that look. Yeah, we just we just want to live life and make content for you guys. I want to show the clip now anyway where I go. It was a troll because all these clips on TikTok haven't got this in, so I'll play it now. Listen, me and Sophia are in a solid, normal relationship. We're not in where an open you, relationship. By other men. No way, she doesn't, funny enough. I've pranked you all. Subscribe to Sister Bella. She pays my holidays. She pays for everything. Big up the sugar mamas. Big up Sister Bella on OF, yeah? I'm going to live my life. No, we crack on with God. Right. Have a good one. Cheers. Again, so if he was really mad here, why is he saying it was a troll and not, I went along with whatever you guys told me to say? His story just isn't adding up. So yeah, you see that. I did say it was a troll. I was going to out him there and then saying I was told to say this, but I was just so pissed off at the time. I was just like, let's just go. It, we was there five hours. The whole podcast was seven. Um... I just didn't want to be there. Sophia had the um, towards the end, Sophia sat on the other, um, like the sofa that was behind the whole setup. Um, she didn't want to be a part of it. And I don't blame her because it, it was, it was disgusting. Seven hours. Why didn't you guys leave? I had no idea these podcasts ran this long. No way. I am so surprised they stuck it out for that long. I should have thought a bit more before doing it, uh, which I do take accountability for. But again, me and her are in a happy, healthy relationship. I love her to pieces. Um, and yeah, I blame whatever they've blocked me. So I'm going to show you now. So that just sums it up. They've blocked me. They don't want nothing to do with me. They've made money out of us. They've told me to basically be this cuck. Bear in mind, I didn't even know what a cuck was. Um, so yeah, wanted to clear that up. Again, me and Sophia are happy, healthy, in a closed relationship. Um, yeah, there's not really much more to say. I do apologize for, for anyone I've offended. I don't... Uh, despise anyone that believes in God or anything like that. I am an atheist myself, but I just believe everything happens for a reason. Um, so I do apologize for anything I have said, uh, but it got heated. And again, when you're debating with someone that's very strong, like you, you want to get your point across and give it back to them. And I did feel like I was pissed off. And at the time I knew it was going bad. So that's why I walked out. 
That's why I said he was a troll. Okay, so overall, that response just kind of made things worse for him. And the top comment of that video is the whatever podcast calling him a liar. So I guess that whole situation is a little bit of a he said, she said situation. Also, he made a follow up video about his outfit. What's up, in TikTok? This is Bevo here. Another day, another outfit. Let's see what Bevo's got today. We didn't really pack a lot in the suitcase. This is all we have. Everyone's bullying me just for bringing Burberry. Um, I literally have one outfit because Sophia's luggage was too heavy, so I literally got to bring one outfit. So, yeah, I don't know everyone's bullying me in the comments for saying, oh, he's only got one outfit, he's only wearing Burberry. But this Burberry outfit, yeah, costs about a G. And a lot of you boys are wearing less than a G on your outfit. So big up the missus, big up Bevo, big up LA. I'm going to put the fit on now and we're going to look at it again. G! Here we are, final product, you know the rules, big up the burbs. Dude, your whole fit is the pattern. You just look like a meme if you're wearing all that together. How do you spend over a thousand dollars on your outfit to look this terrible? And just that fact alone makes the next thing in the story seem even wilder because he just randomly announced just a couple weeks later that he is officially broke. What's up you guys, it's some Bevo here. I just wait to do another updated video on the current overdraft. Um, yeah, big up to all, everyone that's basically gifted a penny, a pound, a fiver, 10p, 20p, all the pennies count. You know the rules. Um, yeah, it's tough times. I'm gonna go down the uh, pawnbrokers today to basically pawn in the chain and the watch. Um, I might even sell my Burberry on Vinted. So if you want me to make a Vinted, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough. Me and Sophia have been arguing. Um, yeah, the fall off is real, guys. You wanted it, it's happened. I'm not enjoying it, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. Bevo's broke, Bevo's here, Bevo's there, Bevo's broke everywhere. But um, yeah, make sure to support me, get over to the Twitch. If you wanna donate me a penny, I don't mind as well. But yeah, twitch.tv slash Bevo, um, Frio's, try and make some money on there. But yeah, I've gotta do something, guys. So I need to make bread. I don't wanna go back to work, please save me. And this is just a couple weeks after him bragging to a podcast host that he is extremely well off and richer than him. Either he was just lying there or life really comes at you fast. But he mentioned he was arguing with his girl and in his next video, he posted this. Oh boy, that's not good. So wait, was she was she the sugar mama and he was like the attention funnel and funneled people over to her, to her uh, OF? Is that how this whole operation worked? Okay, so in the span of like two weeks, this guy allegedly went from rich to a negative net worth. So he made this quick video, I guess, explaining his situation. But I guess he's here to clear up our uh, confusion. <sighs> um, yeah, just wait to come on air and uh, just say the current situation I'm in. Um, yeah, it's not looking great. I posted out that I pretty much am skin. I'm not gonna lie. It's all come from the whatever podcast. Lying, trying to make a character, trying to be like these other influencers. And it's all backfired. It is all backfired. I've beefed the wrong people. Um, okay, wait. So out of all the influencers you could pick to be like, you chose to LARP as Adam22. Dude. My relationship is rocky now because I'm not earning money, putting pressure on her. Um, yeah, and I'm just getting a lot of hate. And I just don't think I can hack this anymore. Your relationship is rocky because you aren't earning money. It's been two weeks. If your relationship can't handle two weeks of you not making money, that's not much of a relationship. It sounds like her OF lead generator became a little bit less popular and she might need to look for new options. How did we even get here? The dude blows up on the internet off of not being able to choose food. He starts hanging around OF girls. He starts dating one or multiple. I, I don't know which OF girl this is for him. And then suddenly he's just LARPing as an OF pimp. And I'm assuming acting like her money is also so his and she's probably left him now hence why he's now broke and i think i'm gonna give it a day or two and see where my head's at whether i'll go back to work or um carry on doing this because don't get me wrong i can i can earn steady eventually from this but at the minute it's just it's dreadful I had a nightclub no one turned up um sophia's been out all day today 
sitting in the house, can't do anything, I've got no money. Um, yeah, I just feel like TikTok has ruined my life a bit. I do apologise to anyone that I have uh, I have said anything about. Because, yeah, it is humbling. It is very humbling and my time has come. And, yeah, I was training for six months. It was a great six months. But, yeah, it's all come crashing down and I can't even afford an haircut now. So, I just want to say big up for everyone. I didn't actually intend on people sending money when I had my bank up in it. Um, I think I've had, like, 30, 40 quid come through for, like, 10, 20 p's, 50 p's. I've had the odd couple of quid here and there. I don't expect it, but I don't appreciate it. Or I didn't actually ask for it. Oh, man. Dude, just make the content people originally liked. Stop LARPing. And don't buy $1,000 Burberry fits if you can't afford your rent. But somehow, it just gets so much worse. I had this on TikTok, Devo here. I just want to say thank you for everyone for the gifts, the donations. I've had some money um, to basically try and find Sophia. Sophia's gone on a mad one. I don't know where she's gone. She didn't come home. Um, I don't know if she's embarrassed with me or don't want to be associated with me anymore. I know my girl mates didn't like me. Um, if anyone has seen her, let me know. Um, I'll come to Durham to see if she was at home, but she's not. <laughs> And mum and dad are very worried as well. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do, but it's a stressful time. I'm not even making money on TikTok. My RPM's like 10p. It's a joke. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to lie about this race of money. I'm literally going home to money now. Hopefully she's there. She's not answering the phone. Um, if anyone's been in contact or seen her, she's even blocked me on TikTok. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if she's posting because I haven't got other accounts, but... Yeah. Dude, let her go. She's blocked you on everything, and you take a train for hours out to Durham to go to her parents' house? What are you doing? Side note, I used to live in Durham in the UK, so I've been on that exact platform that he's on many times. Shout out to Durham Cathedral and uh, Nudo Sushi. Probably the worst sushi I've ever had in my life, but it was really cheap, and that's really all the only upside to that place. But this guy has no business doing all of this. Viva, you're scaring the host. Stop chasing. It's over. And if she wants you back you should reject that because clearly it's a toxic relationship as you guys can't even talk and just to show how turbulent this thing is last week he posted this video because his entire fan base has basically been telling him since he started dating her that as soon as he went broke she would leave and yes it's all downhill from here man why is my life be such a mess yeah, I think she's got our beef, I don't know. So she left him and went to I Ibiza a day after he announced he went broke. And this is what he decided to do after he found all this out. Okay, I guess it's more buy-in now. Kind of the same thing though. If your girl has you blocked on everything and then she goes to Marbaya without telling you, yeah, it's over. But that's not stopping him from doing this. So his girl broke up with him and he's still claiming he's broke and that TikTok ruined his life. F and chat for Bevo. If he goes back to his original content and stops e-begging without giving his audience any value, there might be some hope. But at least he's not risking other people's lives like this guy is for TikTok content because he's just on a crash course and is heading straight for jail. But you can check out that video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.